children. Nice to have you back again. Um, looks like the COVID-19 virus is not going to go away anytime. Can we do something about it? Does God know? Um, do you trust that God can take care of us? There's nothing much we can do. But we must continue to trust God and uh, to pray to Jesus that He can take care of us. Does Jesus know that the COVID-19 pandemic would happen? Does He know when and how it will end? Yes, Jesus knows about the future and the future of the world we live in. Jesus knew all about the COVID-19. He knew that it was going to happen. So he's not caught by surprise. And because Jesus is not caught by surprise, we can trust him. Wouldn't it be nice if we could see the future? Wouldn't it be nice if Jesus told us about our future? I wonder, where would I live in the future when I'm all grown up? Will I work in another country? In the book of Isaiah, in the Bible, God actually told His people that He was going to send a very special baby who's going to be a great king. Who is this baby? Okay, children, I hope you have your Bible with you. Please open to chapter, uh, chapter 9 of Isaiah. Verses 1 to 7. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all back, Lord, uh, to listen to your word. We pray for each and every child, Lord, that they will open their ears and open their heart and be ready to receive from you. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. All God's children say, Amen.
Isaac, hi Joyce. Hi. Nice to see you again, both of you. Um, I see we all have our capes on. Do you have superpowers? Yes, I can eat very fast. Wow. That is not a superpower. Superheroes have got superpowers. Hmm. Is there a superhero you all admire? Spider Man. You, Catwoman, she can fly. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where do you normally see all these uh, superheroes? On TV. On TV. Mm. Um, are these superheroes real? No. no. Mm. Um, the superheroes we see on TV are not real. They are just people acting. And... Uh, they have special abilities. Now, Isaac and Joyce, wouldn't it be wonderful if we have a superpower that can help us see the future? If we have, we can help answer Ryan's question about where he will be in the future. Mm, we will be able to tell him uh, where he will live hmm? about 10 years time all right today we are going to meet a real superhero and um, we are going to learn about his um, special ability the superhero is from the bible now before we move on to today's lesson uh, can you isaac and joyce help me to answer uh, the following questions uh, from last, the last lesson? Okay, Isaac, uh, who was the special agent that God sent to King Ahaz? Isaiah. Isaiah, right. And uh, Joyce, uh, what special sign did 
he tell the king? A baby will be born. Mm. I said, what are the two? What are the meaning? Two meanings of this sign. God will judge Israel and God will save us. Right. Okay. We are now ready. Off we go. Hello, hello, hello. It's so wonderful that you are with us today. I hope you have your Bible with you and it's open to Isaiah chapter 9. Put your finger at verses 6 to 7. I've got Ryan here with me today and he's going to help to tell the lesson today. So Ryan, are you there? Oh yeah, give me a second. Come on Ryan. Isaiah chapter 9, are you there? Yes. Fantastic. Why don't you go first Ryan? The king of Aram and his soldiers went to fight with the king of Ahaz and God's people. And King Ahaz in the, and all of God's people were so afraid. When they became afraid, they did not trust in God to take care of them. Hmm, and God was very angry that his people in Judah did not trust him. Though God has helped them so many times and he answered all their prayers, God was going to punish his people for not believing in him. That was very sad and a scary time for God's people. But God does not stay angry for a long time. No, God wanted to give his people hope. He was going to send a special king to take care of his people so that they no longer need to be afraid of all their enemies. Yes, and this king would come in the shape of a baby. This was no ordinary baby. How can a king be a how can a baby be a king and take care of God's people? Well, all babies grow up. Yeah. And this baby would be special in so many ways. Yes, follow along with me in Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 to 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. Prince of Peace Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom. From just establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness, from that time on and forever, the zeal of the God Almighty will accomplish him. That's a lot, Ryan. Maybe you want to help us understand this a little bit? So, what this says is basically, a a king will come in the form of a child, Jesus. This king will save his people from the enemies. And these enemies are the kings of war that are coming to fight Jesus' army. And Jesus will be the everlasting father of his army and he will reign over David and the throne. And he will establish and uphold justice and righteousness together. Wow, yes. This king that God promised to send hundreds of years before he was, even before he was born, it's Jesus. Jesus was God in the shape of a human and he will rule God's people. God told Isaiah that this King Jesus will have great superpowers. He will help and he will lead his people. He will love his people and he will make peace between God and man. Jesus is the best king that can be living and ruling our hearts today. Jesus is the best helper who can help us with any problem. And He loves us very much. He never leaves us. Never, ever, He never leaves us. Never, ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Children, God always keeps His promises. I hope you enjoyed today's true Bible story. Now, we are going to do a summary of today's lesson, right? And we are going to get Joyce and Isaac to help us. Joyce, why don't you go first? Who was the baby God promised to send? Jesus. How about you, Isaac? What will he be good at? Do? What will he be good at? He will lead his people and save them and help us whenever we get into all kinds of troubles. Yes, that is what Christmas is all about. Thank you, Isaac. 
Mm, and uh, it's not about uh, Santa Claus. It's not about yummy, yummy food. It's not about Christmas uh, presents. Well, it's about God. God sent baby Jesus uh, in the form of a baby, in the shape of a baby. And uh, Jesus is a wonderful king. And uh, he is our superhero. And his greatest superpower is love. Hi kids, it's memory verse time. Opening up the scroll of Isaiah. Oh, it's the same memory verse from your lesson two weeks ago. Good, let's revise with music. <laughs> For to us a child is born. For to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. The government shall be upon his shoulders. And he shall be called. Wonderful counselor, wonderful counselor, mighty God, mighty God, everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Prince of Peace, I, 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 nine verse six, come on, I, 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 nine verse six. For to us a child is born. For to us a son is given. For to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. The government shall be upon his shoulders. And he shall be called. And he shall be called. Wonderful counselor. Wonderful counselor. have we learned today? Joyce? When we are afraid, God will protect us. Mm. Isaac? What Christmas is about? Christmas is about Jesus coming down to save us and Jesus does not always love us. Mm, thank you, children. Come, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's lesson. Lord, we learned that Jesus is a wonderful King that you promised us and you sent him to rule over the earth and to protect us. Lord, I pray for each and every children, Lord, that you protect them through this COVID-19 pandemic season and uh, that they will continue to trust you. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Sunshine